Okay, everybody. So for the very few that have actually done this, I'm going to show you how to transfer everything from your browser-based near wallet into another browser-based near wallet. And uh, the reason for this is that near they are transitioning from a web wallet into a wallet hub, which will showcase all these uh, different uh, near wallets that they have. Now, the reason why I've actually uh, have a near wallet is because uh, you know over you know, a year ago or so, there was no real support for uh, cold storage wallets for Near, And I was a big believer in Near. I'm also a big believer of not keeping things on the exchange. That's rule number three, 0% exchanges, don't leave them on there. And uh, what I liked about uh, wallet.near.org is that it allowed me to secure everything with my ledger. So even though it was browser based, which means it's a hot wallet, I could actually secure it by having everything with my nano ledger. So if I want to transfer anything out, you had to have the nano ledger uh, connected. So uh, I've had this for quite some time. Now I really don't need it. Uh, I'm going to keep it on there just to show people if they don't have this option. But uh, these days I keep everything in my uh, tangent wall. It's a cold storage device. It's very simple to use if you've ever used, I mean, uh, cards, debit cards, credit cards, and it's cold storage, you'll know what I'm talking about. So uh, there is a link in the description, looks like this. And of course, you can find out everything about Tangem. I did a deep dive into it, why it's my preferred cold storage device over uh, my Nano and uh, Elipal and other different things, and uh, why it's not going to break the budget and uh, just why I believe in it. So uh, that's that part. But for the for the few of you who's, who want to do this, uh, let's get it done. So uh, every time I logged into Near, I keep seeing this uh, as of January 1st, the Near wallet will be discontinued. No changes are made to your account or its assets. Use your recovery phrase or the transfer wizard. And from what I understand from the blog post, even if you don't get this done by January 1st, they'll still uh, store your different assets. It's just things are going to look a little bit different, maybe a little bit more cumbersome. So get it done before January 1st, okay? Right now, uh, we're looking at uh, November 25th, 2023, so you got time. So what do we do here? So the first thing is, first of all, why? Right? Of course, why is this going on? Well, it states here, the near wallet domain, wallet.near.org, will transition from a web wallet into a wallet hub, like we talked about, showcasing the variety of wallets maintained by the community. And you can take a look. There's a link in the description for all the different wallets that are out there. My near wallet, Meteor, and here wallet, and Nightly, and all the different plethora of different wallets out there. Have fun. I like to keep my life very simple, so uh, let's just uh, jump into this. All right. So you got three options to transfer your accounts: recovery phrase, ledger, or the transfer wizard. That's the one that's actually recommended. I'll link this in the description. You can do whatever you want to do. You're going to choose a wallet. There's a bunch of different ones. I'm going to use my near wallet. It's the easiest one. It's the one that's uh, put out by the near foundation. Looks very simple. And also, if you really want to do this and it's browser based, you can uh, back it up with ledger, just like how we had on the other one over at near wallet. So there's this. How does the wizard work? The one that's actually recommended. Transfer wizard is designed to improve the security posture of your connected accounts, rotating your keys, cleaning up old keys, and securely transferring your accounts to a new wallet. Note, wizard doesn't support unfunded accounts, meaning you got to have a little bit of near in there, or accounts using ledger, which means we're going to have to disable ledger. You can import your ledger accounts manually to support a wallet and have fun with that. So here's the, here's the steps. There's four steps. So you're going to secure your account. First, you're going to do a security step. Don't worry, I'll show you. You're going to clean up your keys. They're going to revoke the access just like we do with like third parties. You're going to transfer your account and then you're going to log out on your.org. So very simple. We're going to come over here. We're going to click on transfer my account. And actually, before we do that, I want to show you something. If you've done what I've done, which is uh, have my ledger hardware wallet, you have to disable that. And to disable that, you need a passphrase. <laughs> this is why ledger is such a pain. So like... First of all, if you've done it like this, you're going to have to get a new passphrase, a, 20, a 12 or 24 uh, mnemonic phrase, which it's going to actually generate when I click this button. And then when you have that, then it's going to allow you to disable. So I'm going to do that right now because I have to. I'm not going to show you. But again, you're just going to enable it, write down the, uh, the passphrase, and then you're going to disable the ledger wallet. So let me do that for real quick. Okay, so it looks like there's success. So just so you know, I had to do a bunch of different things to go through that. So just work your way through it until it actually works and then go from there. So now that we have this, now let's disable my hardware device. 
Are you sure you want to disable Ledger? Make sure you have other recovery methods. Sure. Enter your account ID to confirm. And of course, my account ID is uh, the one up there, dnews.near. Disable Ledger. Again, confirm on my device. Great. So we have that part done. Now let's transfer the account. So again, I have to have anything Ledger turned off if you have that. So transfer my accounts. I'm going to click my wallet, which is going to be my near wallet. And uh, there's two different options here. I have two different uh, wallets. So uh, let's just transfer them over, transfer both of them over. Why not? Get it done. Continue. You'll enter this password when you begin exporting your accounts, different wallets. Click to copy. Copy to write down the password. Transfer accounts. So now we're in my near wallet. You don't need to use, you will use this to unlock your wallet. So let's put the password in his head. And I acknowledge, and I acknowledge, and I don't click next. So my apologies. On the last one, it's whatever you want the password to be. This is the password that it, it gave to you. So we're going to put that in there. Confirm it. Ready to import two accounts, DNews and the other one. Great. Let's begin the importation. To ensure account settings are transferred from the URL of your browser, right? App.mynearwallet.com. That looks good. Now let's see. So, wall, so account to import, DNews.near, estimated fees. That's right. Approve. And then this one. No wallet. Great. And that's the other wallet that I have. Great. Approve. And that's it. Two accounts that being imported. DNews and this long one here. So let's just take a look. Looks like I have everything there. That's very nice. Now oh, it's like the same thing. Now let's take a look over here. And I have my sweat there. Great. So everything's done. So I hope that made a lot of sense. So sorry about that first piece there. That's uh, you put the password in of whatever you want it to be. Now I have the same password for everything. I'll go back and I'll change that. Let's see. Maybe that's under account. Yeah, right. So I just click on change password here, put in the old password, and then you can put in the new one because, of course, uh, we messed that last piece up. So wherever you want your password to be, if you want to do that, that's, uh, that's about it. And uh, that will do it for that piece. And the last piece that you want to do is you want to go back to uh, wallet.near.org and you want to log out of Near. And it's going to ask you one last step. Uh, last step, we're going to clear out the keys thrown in the browser. You'll be logged out of Wallet and your keys will be removed. And then you'll click on log out of my account. It'll wipe away all the different uh, keys from the last one and it'll log out everything that you have so you don't have any kind of transfer over. Uh, as far as like old data just hanging around. So that will be the last piece. Hope that made sense and uh, it's very simple. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.